What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to be using the permalinks into our WordPress websites and how to change the posts or page permalinks. So first of all, let us have a look at the WordPress official page explaining what is a permalink. Permalinks are the permanent URL to your individual web blog posts as well as categories and other lists. Let me show you some permalink example. For example, here, if you go to page, and I'm gonna click here at the slider page. Let me just select the quick edit so I can show you the look that is the same as permalink. Click on hover over the page, click on quick edit, and the slug is a permalink. Permalinks are set on WordPress, dashboard, settings, permalinks. And it's really important for SEO matter and others. The most recommended one, by default, WordPress already used the, the day and the name of the post, but I do recommend the post name, just the post name, for example. And you can set custom in the case that you want. But the post name is enough. You're gonna show your site title, your site domain, plus the post name. For example, if we go back here, at our page, select the, the page called slider, where we are running our slider to apply some video tutorials that I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here. But if you look at the right sidebar, we're gonna see the permalink tab, click on it, and we're gonna see the page on our browser, theme.visualmodel.com, and now the page is look, the page permalink, slider. And how to edit that? To edit that, you're gonna change the URL slug. For example, now I'm gonna be type, I'm gonna be call this page as slider change. But why this page is called slider? Because the WordPress automatically uses the page title as the page permalink. If you hover over the page title using Gutenberg Editor, into our WordPress, we're gonna see the permalink option, click on it, and you're gonna be able to change. Now that the permalink changes, as you can see, the page called slider change does not exist any longer because the page permalink is just slider. So it's really important that you do not change the permalinks a lot, just in some specific cases and thinking about SEO, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for a guide from Visual Modo blog where we do explain how to change the permalinks without lose SEO. And now, if you go back to the WordPress Classic Editor, no longer Gildenberg, you're gonna, be, you're gonna see this option to permalink under the page title and you're gonna be able to change the permalink in the Classic Editor as well. And just a final tip, permalinks are in every single post, categories and any other pages of your website. So think about the page permalink that you're gonna be using because you're gonna share this link in social medias and you can lose that. So only change it in the case that you really need it. Now, if you have a look at the page, quick edit, you can change the permalink without even needing to load the page. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question, and don't forget to check out the visualmodo.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes. And it is, I see you later guys! All the best!